and welcome to Brick Gaming YGO. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today we will be um, starting a series um, about how to drastically improve at Yu-Gi-Oh. So in this first episode, I'm going to be going over test hands and why test hands are good, the cons of test hands, and why I think you should be doing them. So first off, with test hands, it helps you familiarize you with your deck. So for example, it kind of gives you a better idea of like your openings, what you could potentially open. It kind of gives you a rough idea of cards that you're more or less likely to open. Um, also it gives you an idea of your like ratios. Like it helps to see if your deck is consistent, what your ratios are, and where everything kind of falls in at. Also it helps to figure out the probability of what you're going to open. So for example, if you're playing a 40 card deck and you see a 3 of a lot, well, obviously, you're going to open it more. So, doing that sounds kind of gives you an idea, especially if it's searchable. Like, let's say there's multiple ways to get to that one card. That can also help. Um, also, it helps out, like, figuring out, like, kind of the basics of your deck. You can do a couple test hands and kind of play out those hands and see where it takes you and see what your ending board is. Also, it helps, like, if you have, like, a card in your deck that you're playing around with, and you keep bricking on the card, or the card's really amazing, like one or the other, it can help you decide if you want to keep it in your deck, cut from your deck, etc., which helps out your deck overall. Now, some of the cons are generally like it's just not enough. Like, you need to do other, like, things, like outside just test hands. Like, test hands get you some of the way there to help figuring out your deck, but it doesn't, like, not perfect science, and it's not going to, like, be enough. Like, for example, I would also recommend. Test playing and other things along like along those lines, and I'll be going over stuff like that in um, more episodes in this series. Now, um, it also only gives you an idea of what you could roughly open. Like you're not going to see like every single potential hand. Like let's say you do te ten test hands, that's not like every single potential card you're going to see or every single potential opening. Like generally, like when I did test hand, when I was trying to uh, go regionals or YCS. I do hundreds of test hands, and it really helps out like with figuring out your ratios, but you need to do a lot of them and it can be really time consuming. Like a more accurate way is test playing, but just for the basics when you're first starting out with a deck, I would recommend test hands just to kind of see where uh, your ratios are at, etc. So it's a good starting point, it just isn't what you like, not a perfect like way of figuring out like oh, this is always going to be good, or this is always going to be bad, it just gives you a rough idea. And also only shows opening your first turn, also doesn't take into account, like, your second or third game, like when you're going second, or if you're going first, like what you're going to slide in, or anything like that. It just kind of gives you an idea of where your cards roughly fall, just with ratios and stuff like that. So test hands are good. So, like, for example, if I were, like, shuffle up right now, and then just do a quick test hand to show you, like, for example... With this first opening hand, I would open a Dark Refer, Mass Change 2, Destrudo, uh, Orcus Nightmare, and Orcus Symbol Skeleton. Now, this is just random five cards for my deck. And this is for a uh, deck profile I did a while back for uh, Shadal, Orcus, Dark Hero, Dash, well, Dark Warriors slash Heroes. And it kind of gives you a rough idea of what a hand could look like. But you could go through your entire deck, see which cards come up in which hand and kind of see what works with what so that's why they're good but it's not like the perfect science so if you like this video leave a like um if you have future uh questions or suggestions for future uploads leave them in the comments down below and if you want to see like more videos like this leave a like let me know that you like the content and i'll be uploading more ways of how to drastically improve at Yu-Gi-Oh. thank you for watching